Auntie family. Auntie is here, Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. Welcome to the weekend edition where we fancy it up. LaShawna Simon, she puts it all together. On this week's edition, we're going to talk about Bridgerton because Bridgerton is coming back. Janet Jackson, the documentary that we have been waiting for, is finally going to air. And on the final note, the most anticipated movies of the new year. When you think about the year 2022, so many people are excited about so many movies, and we are going to give you the insight on it. Just like we do during the week, we're going to start off with a hug, so... Let's hug. Happy New Year, everybody. It's not cute not knowing. And now it's time to know. Let's talk books. Do you like reading? I know I do. And I've got some exciting ones to tell you about, including Oscar-winning actress Viola Davis. Her book, Finding Me, really goes into her life and her journey as an actress. Kel Mitchell, remember him from Good Burger, all that, Keenan and Kel. Well, Kel has turned his life around and the father of four has written a new book. He is now a pastor. Daily devotional, Blessed Mode, 90 Days to Develop Your Faith. It's out now. Daryl McDaniels, best known as DMC from Run DMC, is out teaming up with Nickelodeon for a children's book entitled Daryl's Dream. It's all about finding your voice, and it's about a shy third grader who wears glasses. He gets teased a lot, but it shows his journey coming out of his shell. Finally, there's Stacey Abrams. We know her. She's running for governor of Georgia. We know her voting rights activities. She's written books, but this is her first children's book, Stacy's Extraordinary Words. This is all based on the experiences of Stacy Abrams. And it's about a young lady participating in spelling bees because this is something that Stacy Abrams always did as a child. It's about a young girl in elementary school. And even though it doesn't come out quite like she wants it to, the story is about losing growth and a chance to try again. Stacey Abrams, Stacey's Extraordinary Words is available now. Janet Jackson is ready to tell her story and I am so excited. Janet Jackson, woo, we've been riding with this woman for years through the ups, through the downs, and now on Lifetime and the a and &E Network, we are going to get an honest and unfiltered look at the life of Janet Jackson. When you think about one of the biggest pop stars of the world, you think of Janet, this is a four-hour documentary produced not only by Janet, but by her brother, Randy Jackson. We're going to see tons of footage from her legendary career. Her story told the way she wants it told. You'll see appearances by Missy Elliott, Mariah Carey, Paula Abdul. It's coming to Lifetime. Mark your calendar for Friday, January 28th. After a very long wait, Bridgerton is back. Bridgerton season two is coming to Netflix in March, on March 25th. This is going to be the story of Lord Anthony Bridgerton. He's looking for love. He's looking for a wife, but he happens to be very picky. He meets a woman who is his total opposite, and he goes from not liking her at first to actually lusting after her. Kate Sharma plays the love interest, and you're going to get all your usual love stuff and sex stuff. And Julie Andrews is returning as the voice of Lady Whistledown. Ah, Bridgerton back, and it's been a long time. It's coming to Netflix in March. Okay, let's talk movies of the year. In a recent poll, these are the following movies that are the most anticipated movies of the upcoming season. There's Black Panther 2, Wakanda Forever. It is scheduled 
to be released on November the 11th. They have had production delays, but November 11th is still the date for that. Woo, the animated version of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. This is coming to theaters October the 7th. The Adventures of Miles Morales. You're going to hear voices of Haley Steinfeld. Oscar Isaac, who's going to be playing Miguel O'Hara, one of the villains. Issa Rae is joining the Spider-Verse. She's going to be giving the voice of Jessica Drew, who is Spider-Woman. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. The animated version is coming October the 7th. Tom Cruise is making a welcome return to the big screen. And not one, but two movies. There's Top Gun Maverick, which is coming out Labor Day weekend. One of the stars is actor Jay Ellis. We know him as Lawrence from the HBO show Insecure. There will be another Mission Impossible movie coming out Tom Cruise September the 30th. Avatar fans, we have waited a long time for Avatar and a sequel is coming out December 16th. Jordan Peele, he's not going to disappoint. His horror movie starring Kiki Palmer. It's simply entitled Nope. It opens in theaters July 22nd, and in just a few weeks in March, there's a new Batman movie. Robert Pattinson, we know him from the Twilight movies. Well, he's the new Batman. He is dark. He is mysterious. Zoe Kravitz, Lenny Kravitz's daughter, she is playing Catwoman. Woo! They heat up the screen as they come together. Entertainment, pop culture, I've got ya. Leave a comment. I do read the comment. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. And more importantly, subscribe to the channel so you never miss a thing. LaShawna Simon, she puts it all together. It's not cute not knowing, and now you know. I'm Patty Jackson. I am your auntie of pop culture.